everybody. Lori here for Simon Says Stamp. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I've got a fun little project to share with you featuring some of the new goodies that came out in the Hey Love release by Simon Says Stamp, starting with this Miss You word die cut. This is beautiful handwritten uh, font by Christina Werner. I love it. I'm spraying it with some spray adhesive and layering up four of them together to make it nice and thick. And I like a nice sturdy word die cut. Now I've got some pattern paper. This is from the Cest, Cest La Vie. Let's see if I can say that right. Cest La Vie uh, paper pack by Pink Paisley. I've been loving this paper pack lately. I don't think it's new. I just really like the fresh kind of feminine but modern patterns in it. And then I'm also using this envelope purse. This was also a new die, part of the Hey Love release. So I'm kind of just arranging this. I haven't adhered anything down, seeing where I want my purse die to go and my sentiment to go and all that jazz. I spend so much time doing this layout stuff. A lot of you don't see it because I don't always put it on my video, but I like to try to tie everything together, but yet you don't want it to overlap too much. It's got to be just the right amount of overlap. Okay, so once I get it how I want it, I'm going to die cut that purse strap right into this paper. You can see how it, it leaves these dotted holes. It's really cool. Very unique way to make a purse strap. So I'm going to lay that over top. So I've got the two different pattern papers and then I've got an envelope purse there and I decided on using pattern paper from that. Everything comes from the Cest La Vie. So you got the envelope and the heart. Now what I'm doing here is spraying some more adhesive on my word die cuts and I'm going to glitter them up because every now and again my projects need a little glitter. I don't do it all the time but I do it every now and again. And um, this would have been a lot easier if you just used glitter cardstock, but I didn't think of it until after. It's an evolution. So I'm just going with a funny story about this pattern paper. So this says La Vie, it's very uh, fresh and modern, kind of feminine. I'm really digging the patterns. Uh, I made a 16th birthday for my daughter. I shared this on a blog post, but uh, she opened the card and I quote, she said, wow, you've really improved over the years, mom. And I, I, I said, excuse me, did you just give your old mama a compliment? I mean, okay, when they're 16 years older, the compliments are far and few between, at least in my house. Uh, but it meant a lot to me. And I kind of giggled because I was like, well, I hope I've gotten a little bit better over the years. But you know what I think it was? I think she really liked the patterns in this paper pack because they are very trendy especially i think they appeal to her age group but they appeal to mine too and anyway so now i'm just adhering everything together i use a little foam tape on the back of my envelope purse and then some glossy accents on the back of my glittered up uh dimensional word die cuts and then again a little sliver of foam tape for that teeny tiny little heart on that purse which i love and I, oh, don't forget, you never can forget the tittle on the eye. Yes, we've had lots of conversations about tittles, haven't we? Okay, so we have the little tittle and I got to stack it up so that it matches the dimension of my other. So I had like three or four little tittles. Let's see how many times I can say tittle in this video. And, but they weren't glittered up. So I thought, how am I going to match up this glittered look? So what I did was once I got them layered up, I put some gloss, like a good coating of glossy accents all over the tittle. And then I just sprinkled a little pinch of glitter over top of it. And then I'll take it over top my little my little Tupperware container, flick it, give it a good flick, and you know, voila, you've got a glittered up tittle. And then I'm taking a little tiny mini clothespin, and I've got some silk ribbon here. I believe this is by Paper Tray Ink, I think. This little silk ribbon, it's gorgeous. I love putting a, I kind of go in cycles. If you've noticed, I make really graphic, geometric, colorful rainbow projects, almost borderline masculine, clean and simple. And then every once in a while, I have to like detox and do a really feminine, soft project. It's kind of an ebb and flow of my creativity. I don't, but it does kind of cycle like that. You know, want to know, want to know another funny thing about making my videos? I swear, and I'm not trying to do it, but they always end up around five minutes or under. And I make cards. Some takes a long time. Some cards take a, a you know very little time. You just never know. But then when I go to edit it, it's like five minutes and under. And I don't know how it always. It's like magic. Okay, back to the project. I've got my little silk bow that I tied to the mini clothespin 
And I adhered that with glossy accents instead of clipping it on because I'm weird like that. And then I'm finishing it off with a few little sequins by Lucy. This is from the Tropical Paradise sequin mix. Uh, go check out the Hey Love release if you haven't. Some fantastic new products in there. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.